Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again today to not pick up exactly where I left off. I'm, you know, I didn't just stop the recording and start the recording two seconds later or anything like that. So that'd be a dick move. Let's eat this last carrot. Lovely. So daytime should be coming any second now, and daytime has come. So, like I said, I'm going to do what was recommended to me by... There we go. By Vapid, I'm going to orient my camera and run. On the way forward, I'm going to pick up like some flint and anything along the way that I need. Like I said, I need more twigs because I want my trap plan to be all in the clear. And actually, I'm even going to pick up more grass for the sake of that same plan. And there we go, instant boon. Instant boonage, and that is lots of sticks. Um, not much else, really. But I, I guess lots of sticks will do the trick for me. Lots of sticks do the trick. All right. So I'm going to pick a few more berries because I no longer have enough berries to last me the night. And I've already reached the fucking border. Okay, you know what? I don't like this whole idea that he gave me. I'm just going to explore my way because it has already kind of failed me. It not really failed me. Rocks. Rocks. And a path to get to the rocks. Now all I need is dung. Why does this game love me so much right now? It's making me kind of nervous. It makes me think I'm going to die like just in like a second. Because this could possibly be enough rocks and grass and everything in order to make everything I need. Let's see. Let's go down there to all these rocks and gold. Rocks and gold and gold and rocks and rocks and gold and gold and rocks. That's what we used to have in Canada. Not so much gold as we used to have. A lot of that's been taken up. It, but we do have rocks and trees and trees and rocks and rocks and trees and trees and holy shit, don't kill me. Remember how I said I was pretty sure the game's just fucking with me? No, no, don't hunt me. Get away. I just found this gold. I don't want to die. This game's being a dick. I clearly don't have what it, what I need to defend myself against these fucking hunters. Um. Yeah, I, I just can't even. What am I supposed to do? Oh, here's their house. Can I get them to fight the tall birds? Do tall birds like them? You should be able to use enemies against enemies. I just want... Ow! Ow! That really hurts. Okay, no, get away from me. Ow! Ow! It moves so fast! I can't dodge them unless I fucking zigzag! Okay, I'm almost dead already. Um, going to try to head back to camp, but I'm being hunted by, like, a bunch of fuckers right now. At least I know where their camp is now. Is that marked on the map or anything? Yes. Yes, it is. <sighs> as soon as I find enough fucking rock, huh? So, what I'm going to do now, I, they don't appear to be directly behind... They are directly behind me. Get away from me! How in fuck's name do I lose them? Do they return to camp at night? No, oh, okay. Apparently, yes. Oh, Jesus. Stop fucking chasing me! I can't deal with this! I need to warm up! Warm up, warm up, harvest moon. ones have already um, done that. I had an audio disconnect there, so I guess it doesn't matter that my day's almost over. I, I can't, I can't fight. I can't fight. There's no way. I'm dead. I am entirely fucking dead. I didn't know I'd find their camp. I didn't know they'd be here. Um, I'm at 15 health. If they don't give up soon, I am fucked. I'm fucked. Ave Maria, no me now. I had a touchstone. <laughs> well, I lost all my supplies, so I'm dead anyways. You know what? Fuck it. Um, I'd play fucking Adagio for strings.
for you if I if I had the track here. Adagio for strings, by the way, known as the saddest song to exist ever for any reason. <sighs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you enjoy me dying to shit. So, again, see you guys next time. Bye. This is way for us to die. Let's wait for us to die. Have some marble. Got some marble. Marble die. Death of marbles. Oh no, I've dropped my marbles. I've lost my marble. Well, that would have been a damn short episode, so I'm going to, um, oh, there's an update, by the way, Strange New Powers. I haven't actually watched the video, so I have no idea what's up, but what I was going to say is that would have been a damn short episode because I died after, like, five minutes, so I'm going to append that onto another episode. Sorry for taking so long to get this one out, but, you know, you die, you're like, no, all hope is lost. So the game, the, what, the land that I am looking for is called The Games Afoot. And I got it. It starts out with winter and then turns into endless summer. I just didn't know I got it and I commit suicide because they didn't give me any fucking supplies. Which is a dick move. So they're just gonna wrangle up their game theory there. I'm gonna take a glass of water. I get cold reception. Which is not the one I want. Or is the one I want. It has the frogs. So the frogs is also a fairly easy, easy get. So I'm going to pick up the axe, pick up my divining rod, equip my divining rod. It isn't talking too fast, so immediately to supplies. Supplies time. Oh, look at that nice tree animation. Look at that. Look at that thing. They added animations. That is kind of cool. So I don't know what the strange new powers are all about. I should have watched a video. It is already raining, which I expected, but I did not expect this soon. I was not an expectorate, you might say. So I also start out with quite a bit of hunger. Or I got hungry really fast, or maybe they've tweaked the hunger so people go hungry in like 20 seconds. Somehow I kind of doubt that, so I'm going to continue on picking my grass. And I had somebody write me up a guide on all the mushrooms, but I forget it right now and I don't have it up. Damn. I don't like that at all. Oh well, again, thank you Trent for all your aid, all the help you've been giving me so far on the series. It is not going unappreciated, although sometimes it is going unremembered. And I say Trent, I know there are other people who have given me quite a bit of help, but Trent often writes me like a master's thesis on what I'm doing wrong, I'm like, oh. And it's a polite master thesis on what I'm doing wrong. It's not, worst player ever, you suck, why didn't you gather? I'm like, fucking... I'm like, I'm not sure, why'd you watch the video? Fuck you. I don't care. I get a bit oversensitive about that. About that type of thing. I need at least one more flint, and there's another flint up there. Remember, I'm looking for a science machine, an alchemy machine, and then possibly a meat drying rack. I'm not sure if you can dry monster meat to make it edible, but I think maybe you can? I don't know. I don't know. There aren't as many carrots as I might have hoped for in this area. So, time to look around very, very fast. I know winter can come in this particular story mode, but I'm not sure when it's going to come, and I think I want to find a decent amount of... I'm going to sneeze! <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't have time to mute there. Bleh. I got sneeze all over my arm. I have like a fucking Kleenex or something. <laughs> Anyways, going to pick up a couple more flints. I'm back in a foresty area, which means the possibility of money control. Which means the possibility of more carrots, which is what I'm kind of in the market for at the moment. At the satch moment. Pick the satch now, the funk soul brother. Now, I will have pretty much infinite food, so I don't worry too much about gathering food. Mainly right now, I want rock... Rocks and trees and trees and rocks, so I can eventually make a permanent camp. Of course, these rocks will not give me gold. I need to find gold-veined rocks for that. But there is a lot of flowers around here, so I will not will not have to worry about going insane or restoring my sanity or any of that jazz, really. I can pick up some rocks here. Lovely, some flint. And there are four total. I have six right now. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get to twelve. Something weird just flashed on the screen, don't know what that was. 
I don't know, sure, probably just some mind manipulating marketing. You know how it is with mind manipulation. Non existent. Oh, well, except for education and. Shut up. Shut up. I just wanted to. I just wanted to disregard. I wanted to tell you guys how much I do not believe in brainwashing. Unless you mean brainwashing from a very young age, in which case it's not brainwashing, it's just being raised. So. That is a giant ass spider net, but there is also carrots. I'm a perfectly peaceful carrot picker. Just leave me alone and I will leave you alone. Still have quite a bit of the day left. This spider is still after me. Got more carrots. More carrots. Mo carrots. Why are these all like fucking spider queen nests? I don't understand. Is there like a special thing here? No. I'm for some reason assuming that the the rocky area is up here, but I don't know why. So I'm just gonna go ahead and explore normally until nighttime, and then I might put down yeah, I don't know a, a permanent campfire because I it is my personal opinion that permanent campfires should be put down whenever and wherever you can. Mostly because why the fuck not? Having permanent camps and not having to waste grass is important. I was also asked in one of my previous episodes why I was using resources instead of wood to put on... I need to pick some spiky bushes. To, 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 um, to put on... I, I know I can do this without danger if I were to use, let's say, a shovel, but I, I didn't want to do that. I don't have a shovel yet, and I don't have the research for a shovel, so I have to mine all these rocks. Anyways, um, the reason for that is because wood is actually kind of a rare resource in comparison to, let's say, grass. Because it mines, it um, harvests so slowly, and rock even harvests much faster. And I find myself running out of wood a lot more than other resources. So I'm just going to try to stay away from these spiders while still mining this huge patch of gold. I do have enough everything currently to make myself a campfire and survive for the night, including grass. For a second I was like, wait a second, do I not have any grass? But that was a lie, I did have grass. Um, pickaxe running out of durability already, which I don't like, because the only way for me to currently regain durability is, or to build other pickaxes, is to pick horrible, horrible thorny bushes. Which I'm going to do. Let's pick all three of them because it didn't seem to actually drain my health that much. It is almost nighttime. Quick, put a campfire down here ish. Right here. Yeah. I was trying to go exactly for there because there is a tree for me to cut. Right here. And two pieces of rock for me to mine, which I quite enjoy. And then I'll, of course, cook and eat and all that jazz. I'll, they really smoothed out the animations. Yeah, I know you're not feeling so good. Not feeling too hot. Put some pine cones down. I can also make ash with these. Whoa, am I sick? What is... Am I ill? Or did they just add facial features? Because I'm looking pretty fucking gaunt. Am I still the proper character? Did I pick the wrong guy? I don't think so. Let's cook all my carrots here and eat them, because I'm not looking so good. Ah, there we go. Wolfgang is better. Apparently I was just starving to death. That is perfectly alright. I'm not too concerned about my starving to death. And now I am in peak physical condition. Let's cook these seeds as well. Eventually I'm going to need traps. So I think it might be time for me to run away, um, to pretty much go back to the plains area and pick up as many twigs and, oh, hey, a ring thing. <laughs> I didn't even realize I'd built that right next to a ring thing. There are also tall birds around here. I can't help but notice that tall bird is going to charge the fuck at me. And I'm looking for twigs or to research a shovel. Stop it, tall bird! Stop it! Stop it now! Okay, I think my my main option here should be to research a shovel. 
Also to pick some flowers, because flowers are lovely. Extra grass is also required. Remember, I'm doing this mostly so I can get lots and lots of traps around, and for that I need grass and twigs. Twigs? Not so... Yeah! Freezing my game! Okay. So many frogs. I think one of the challenges with this is that they, they found out that you could use the traps how I was... Or how we were... how people were using them. So they decided to add a bunch of thorny-ass bushes. Let's put a science machine down so I can get a shovel. I need more sticks for that. I hate taking this damage. So, when you replant these spiky bushes, do you have to... Ooh, a, a branch I can get without the need of damaging myself. I need to fill your... You need to fill your mighty belly already? Okay, they've added, like, the levels of starvation, which make Wolfgang considerably worse than he used to be. I should have carried more things with me. Let's eat a tiny bit just to recover my health. 198 out of 200 it ain't bad. Need to very quickly make a shovel. And then I can gather lots of sticks. Then with those sticks, I can make myself sick. You're such a prick. Let's dig up this dick. So I'm picking up the spiky bushes just so I can replant them over and over again. And I'm digging them up for the same reason. I think if you dig up flowers, you should be able to replant them. It makes no sense planting flowers with butterflies. Come on. Get away from me. I believe in a thing called frogs. Something, something, rhythm of the heart. I don't know. Something bad. Well, it's not a bad song. I just don't remember it. It doesn't stand out in my mind. Not like, where is your mind? Let's grab the twigs and this. Have eight sticks total. It just sucks that I have to use durability on an item in order to get these sticks. But I guess I do have a lot of flint, and I'm using sticks to get more sticks, so... It doesn't matter too much. Ooh, ow! He stole my robot suit! But at least I got a winter hat, and I'm gonna want to try to take this off because... Fucking... Ah, just get away! I don't care about you! Need the divining rod, need to get the fuck away. Pick up more grass, make traps. Grass. And dig this up. Can you dig it like a spigot? No, I can't because this frog is fucking chasing me. God damn. God damn this frog. I've been told. Could also dig up mushrooms. Or can I? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Already some frog legs hanging out. Why? What killed? Oh, the tall bird killed a bunch of frogs. Food for the night. Fuck you, frogs. Tall birds are our common enemy. I mean, frogs are... See, the enemy of, your en of my enemy is your friend, right? Something along those lines? I don't really know. I need survival traps. Um, I also need to put down my actual, you know, what it's called, right? So that caught one of them at least. Second trap. Put this down, pick this up. Lovely. Now I should be able to actually throw pine cones on the fire in order to survive the night. Um, so let's try to just lead the frogs around my base into these traps. Okay, that caught him a bit late, but it caught him. Caught him nonetheless. I'm not sure if my sandy's going down faster because I'm too close to these spy to these um flowers. I don't think so though. Now they're going down pretty fast. Let's drop these seeds. Yo, you, get the fuck over here. Oh man, that's like all the frogs that I've attracted. Dodge around. Frog trap. Every now and then I trap a frog. And I need you more than ever. They shouldn't fence at night. Or they're gonna hurt the gymnasts. Come on, come on, get over here. Okay, one of them's caught. I need to pick this up again. Ow, he stole that. He stole my hat, what a dick. 
There was always a big thing in my school with people stealing other people's hats. Like, it's not like they cared, but people would do it, and it was just annoying as shit. Hated it. Hated it. There we go. Got lots of food now. Couple traps down. Um, what? I, did I just hear... Oh god, there's a live stream going on in my background! Northern Line! Shut up! <laughs> I didn't even realize I had that open. Okay, muting... <laughs> muting that now. So I can spend the rest of the night in peace. I will plant all of these. All these thorny ass bushes. Don't even know whether or not I have to fertilize them. I'm assuming yes, but that can be done later, I guess. Walk to spiky bush. Maybe not. I do have my pickaxe still available, so I can use that in order to... I think they've actually buffed logs in terms of how they react with fires. So let's go ahead and mine the hell out of these two. The giant frog ordeal is over. I have to cook my three carrots though and also cook some of my frog legs up. I do have the traps now. The traps will keep me fed for at least several days, but I have to go back to the plains and pick up a bunch of extra grass anyways. Remember, making new inventions actually improves your sanity as well, so if you need more sanity, that's a good thing to do. Like right now, I could make like a refined log and just drop it on the ground. And sanity increased by quite a bit. I'm going to need that later anyways, which is why I made it. I can make a milled stone, which I will do. Lovely, let's drop that on the ground as well don't need all this gold on me, and I'm pretty sure there's nothing that steals gold from you so far in this game. And then I need to cook all of my frog legs and eat all of my frog legs. I could also kind of save up and get start a garden, but there's so much food in this area, why bother? Really? So, eat as many frog legs as possible until I'm less dilapidated? Yes! I am mighty! Is that 281? Did they actually increase his stomach size? I think they did. And you start out slightly starving. Huh. Interesting. So up to 300. Time to start my day 3, but time for you guys to see me later to stop watching the video. Anyways, bye.